to show you this game zero one soft score card and how to add player initially when you go to your high scores you will see that there are no players currently only the players for game zero one are being recorded crickets players are not recorded in your statistics so you have to create your player here if you go to game zero one you click on this button and then you can enter a name for player one okay now if you want to add another player you will add player two okay and finally a third one As you can see, this is the player that gets to start. The fourth one is disabled because it's an empty name, but you can choose which player may start. For example, player three. You can see I made a mistake here, so click on the text box again. Change it to player three. Okay. Then we next we select what kind of game we would like. I choose. 501 and let's play player 2. The moment you press start game, the players are added to the database. And you can see here right in the top that player 1, 2, and 3 are new players, meaning that this is the first time they play the game. Um, when we want to go back and we go to our high scores now, we see that all these players are added. And if I click on a player, we can see the profile of that player, the player one's profile, and you see since this is the first player, the best stats of everything. Go back, player two. Uh, if you long press on the player, you can either go to their stats page, page or you can clear all the stats. Right now we haven't entered any score, so clearing it would do nothing, but you can also delete the player entirely from the database. Uh, let's go back again. If I start another game, now when I click add player, I can choose one of the previously created players. So I select player one, player three, and start a game if I want. Now let's start a game, and here you see they aren't new anymore, they have previously been recorded. So on top you see the overall score, you see the player name, you see the player who is currently active, who has to submit the score, the number of flags, stats, and their score. Also see the first of two, meaning that whoever gets two sets first wins the game. Now you can hide the soft keyboard, and then you can see all the statistics of your current game. Your average, best set, lag, Check out percentage. This is a rough estimate because you do not enter exactly how many darts you throw at finishes, but it's an estimate to give an indication. Now, if I swipe left, you see that I'll jump to the next player. You can see clearly that the other player is currently submitting a score, so everything is grayed out. And you can, you can swipe again to go back to the player. The keyboard automatically shows up and you can enter what you scored. Six. That's done. And then you jump to the next player. You see that's being updated. You see the finish of that player. There are two possible ways. Well, maybe more, but at least two that are shown. And I also press a score 23, for example. Then we go back. If I hide the keyboard again, you can see that the stats are being updated right now. Click on the score again, the keyboard shows up, and you see here this is a quick button for your previous score. If you score a lot of 26, for example, you can press this one. If I do it now, I get an error 65 is invalid. That's not a quick button, bust if you score nothing, bust, and you have zero, and the other player wins. So if I now enter 78, press done, it means I won the lag and I have to. Enter how many darts I use. Three players. Three, three darts, for example. And we'll see.
be that the next player. But they will continue in this fashion. And all their stats are being recorded. And now go to high score. You can see that those are the averages. Total average. Number of 180s. Which is 0 for all players. And the 20s and the 60s. Etc. 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 And it's nice. If you click it. You get more details. Like the checkout percentage. Right now I use the. It's an estimate 50%. So that's how you go about using the players. The players are available in crickets, so you can use them here if you like.